Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad with your word for the day. Hey, have you ever taken uh, an oath, like been in a courtroom and promised, uh, I swear to tell the, whole, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God? Uh, or maybe have you ever made a promise? I know you have. Cross my heart, hope to die, stick a needle in my eye kind of thing as a kid. I, you probably took some more serious promises as an adult. You know, I promise to love, cherish, honor, and keep in sickness and in health, richer and poorer, for better, for worse, uh, to love and to cherish until death do us part, something like that. You see, um, Jesus was addressing in Matthew 5 uh, a messed up culture of promises and vows that were uh, made uh, on heaven, on earth, on Jerusalem, even on people's heads. Listen, listen to what he says. It's Matthew 5, 33. He said, again, you have heard that it was said to those of old, you shall not swear falsely, but shall perform to the Lord what you have sworn. But I say to you, do not take an oath at all, either by heaven, for it is the throne of God, or by earth, for it is the footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. And do not take an oath by your head, for you cannot make one hair white or black. Let what you say be simply yes or no. Anything more than this really comes from evil. So what is Jesus saying? That we can't take oath? There are some religions that say you can't take an oath in a courtroom and, and stuff like that. Uh, here, here's what I think Jesus is advocating for. He's advocating for a life of simple integrity. A life that uh, is so consistent and so transparent that people believe you and all you really have to say is, yes, I will do that, or no, that is not correct. That's it. Just be honest about that. You don't have to say, I promise, I swear, I, you know, and try to make people believe it. But your life represents truth. Your life represents consistency. Your life represents integrity because your word is good. Now, I know in this world, we got to sign, you know, documents and, and everything to make sure it's legal because we might go to court. It's not the world of a handshake that some of you grew up in. It's a different world. But we can still be those uh, odd men out. We can be those anomalies. We can be those people who live our lives in such a way that others trust us because our yes means yes and our no means no. And we're not trying to deceive and we're not trying to steal and we're not trying to con people out of anything. We're just living transparently. By the way, that's why we value transparent living. It's one of our core values here at Calvary. We want people to be real, open, and honest about who they are and allow others to be the same. I mean, that, that's just it. And so we value transparent living and we value character because we believe you cannot represent Jesus unless you reflect his character. So today, let your yes be yes and your no be no, and you don't need anything else. I hope that helps. God bless.